Coral reefs, tropical fish, shipwrecks. All around the world, thousands of scuba divers are drawn each year to explore the mysterious depths of the ocean. Experiencing the exotic and breathtaking beauty of life underwater. But like in any sport, diving has its inherent dangers. Dangers that can take your life if you don't obey the laws of nature. It was a fantastic day to be diving. It was, the conditions were great. The water was very warm and clear. There was lots of marine life and the sea was flat. And I think because of the conditions, maybe vents had uh, gotten a little overzealous and stayed down perhaps a little longer than he should and pushed the limit, so to speak, perhaps a little more than, than he should have. That certainly would increase your risk for exactly what happened. We had made a dive that morning and were working, doing our afternoon dive. I think Vince had been doing some spearfishing and when he came back on the boat, he uh, said his shoulder was hurting. We started watching him and over the next few minutes, the pain started going from his shoulder working down his arm. And at that point in time, we knew that he probably had decompression sickness. Decompression sickness, often called the bends, is a very serious condition that can hit even veteran divers like Vince Martino. Immediate medical treatment in a decompression chamber is essential for full recovery. The bends is due to bubbles formation in the body due to uh, inert gases that are taken up during a dive that must then be cleared out of the tissues. So if that washout does not occur in a satisfactory manner, then bubbles can actually form within the tissues and cause symptoms. The sooner treatment is initiated, treatment being recompression with oxygen, the less likely a diver is to have residual symptoms after treatment. If one can get into the chamber uh, right away, which is rarely practical, that would be the very best, certainly within uh, one or two hours if possible. One of the concerns that I had was that we were in a remote location. We were a couple hours out at sea from Cape Hatteras, probably a three-hour car ride to the hospital. I had called the Coast Guard on the VHF radio, and we'd also on our cellular phone contacted Duke University, where they specialize in diving related injuries and accidents. It took about 30 minutes for the Coast Guard to arrive on scene. In route, they brief the captain on what to expect. The Coast Guard was very informative about where they would meet us, and they maintained communication the whole time. We cleared the top deck, had a couple of our crew members put on their life jackets and, and get the vents on the top deck. And of the essence. The decompression chamber at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina is the closest viable medical facility. Vince is rushed there in time and fortunately has a full recovery. Well, diving is a very safe sport. We take out um, literally thousands of divers every summer 
Fortunately, this was the only incident we had this year. I was just pleased that it all worked out. I thought it was handled very well by the Coast Guard, and I wouldn't hesitate to do the same thing if this ever happened again. They were very supportive, and I think it worked out well for everyone.